Greetings and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I'm Fiarly and today we return to Mass Effect. Now, I'm supposed to be going... Ah. Didn't realize there'd be an elevator. Okay, I guess that makes sense as to why the ship seemed so small before. Anyway, I'm supposed to be going to Joker and... Telling him that we're ready to go. But... I am wanting to wander around a bit more. There is some sort some sort of shop or something like that that I could find as well. I don't know where the hell it is. So I'm just going to explore for a little bit and see what I come across. Oh. Okay, so that... Alright, that maybe gave information to my codex? I don't know. Oh boy, all sorts of new stuff in the codex, and this is all the stuff that was um, spoken by a narrator. Might be a bit much to include in an episode. I may do like a different, like a like a just a codex episode or something like that for these. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be handling these, or they may not appear at all. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'll I'll try to figure out how exactly I want to do this. If you have any suggestions, then please let me know down below, because this is a lot. And I don't want to have the episodes just be crammed with all of this stuff and nothing else of substance. So I'd very much appreciate any input on how I should handle these. Or if you guys are even interested in seeing them at all. Oh, I have a locker. What are... Okay, cool. Oh, the elevator takes me down. I thought it was going to take me up. Okay, cool. I found more stuff to explore before I continue on and go talk to Joker. Great. Oh, this is so I can equip different people when we're not in a mission. There's four more lockers here. I wonder if that means I'm going to get four other people in my team. I don't know. And what is this? I guess I got info in... <clears throat> excuse me, I guess I got info in my uh, codex about it. Oh, this is where I buy shit. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Yeah. Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I agree. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Makes sense. Well, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Ah, okay, so this isn't anything under the table. He has a license to do this stuff. Well, that's good. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Mm -hmm. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. If I can find them? So does this mean I need to be on the lookout for licenses as I am playing and out doing things and stuff? What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. Oh, good. I don't have to try and remember everything. I guess I just find a license or tell him I want a license and I'll get filled in on that particular info. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Wow. Okay. Cost 25000 and I've got 1600 How much is the next sniper? 8000 Well, that's not too bad. Oh, yeah. That's, that's better. That's definitely better. I guess I'll sell all my shit because I went through, I didn't show you guys because I figured it'd be boring, but I went through and I equipped everybody in my team with the better of all the stuff that I had. So anything, I'm assuming it's not going to show me anything that is currently equipped by anybody. I hope. That'd be stupid if it did. Okay, well, I sold everything except the upgrades and I don't have enough for the next sniper rifle, so... I'm guessing it's not stuff that I am meant to purchase yet. That's a shame. What are these unique items? 
Oh, this is something I can buy right now, and this actually sounds useful. Increases maximum units of meta gel by one, so that means I can heal more often. I'll take that. And I can up the grenades as well. That's only 200. That's amazing. I will take that too. Yes, please. Do, do I have to equip the extra grenade thing? No, I guess not. It just lets me... Oh, yeah, yeah. It shows right down here. I can now hold six medi gels and six grenades. Awesome. I don't really understand exactly what Omni Gel is useful for right now, aside from uh, hacking the locks of stuff that I've frankly haven't really had much of a problem hacking yet anyway. Oh, what's this? This must be what's powering the Normandy. Indeed. Poor guy, he was written just to die. Always gotta feel bad for the people that have one purpose and that's to die. But oh well. What I'm trying to say is I don't really care all that much about Jenkins. We never had a chance to. He was killed before we could possibly have gotten attached to him. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on you. Again, I'm sorry, I just can't bring myself to give a shit about Jenkins. Oh, a galaxy map? Oh, I can't... Am I too far? No. Okay, I just can't use it. I guess maybe this is how I'm going to navigate later on. But holy crap, that is so damn pretty. Look at that. That is so pretty. Oh, I love space! The only thing left for me to do is talk to Joker. I don't even remember what I'm supposed to tell him. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Why did it just stop? That was weird. Who is that the Citadel? Wow. Are all those clouds supposed to be nebula? Also, this is loud here. I may be turning... The size of that ship. The Ascension. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Wow, sizes and everything. Why Wait. so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. So, Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. They were... they were... Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. They were talking about that ship Normandy, is the flagship. Is Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Does that mean that we're not at the Citadel yet, or are we at the Citadel? I'm slightly confused on that. It's not quite specific enough and I may have accidentally hit a key and and skipped a cutscene earlier I'm sorry if that's what happened Wow this oh. is an outrage the council would step in if the geth attacked a Turian colony the Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the terminus systems ambassador humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the traverse what about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain hmm. Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I totally understand them not liking the idea of him being accused of treason, so I'm not going to say they're blind. Because that's just douchey. If they're taking the accusation of treason seriously, then, then they probably would already... Uh, see him as being dangerous because they know he's a specter and especially apparently 
one of the best. So I'm going to go with It's the Truth. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Damn right, I will. Commander, you've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. How? The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. Because of Saren. Not hers. Thank you, then Captain. We hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Oh. So we get to go that's up. That's why I hate politicians. Yes. I agree with you, Ashley. Let's let's chat. Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. Well, that's morbid. I'm okay with that, but it's unexpectedly morbid. This place is a little too perfect. Like they're hiding something. Isn't this an old Prothean place? Well, I guess we could have changed the way it looks. Well, whatever, whatever. Okay, I'll talk to you. you cool. All right. Big place. Wow. Well. <laughs> I don't think I would mind too awful much if he goes the way of Jenkins. Actually, while surprisingly morbid, is also... You know, she's at least, we met her, worked together, she joined us. There's definitely some story going on here, and I like that. Why are you avoiding me, though? Why are you avoiding me? Why are you... Are you... Hey, 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 stop running away. Stop, 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 what are you doing? That's an order. Okay, fine, you're, you're doing all right. What is this? Oh. I can decrypt that. Will... Will I get caught? Will I get in trouble? Fuck it. Oh, 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 shit. Not... Ah, fuck. I'm not completely used to doing that. Oh, no. Insufficient Omni-Gel? What the hell? I had to undo something or get rid of something that I had on my grenades, but... I'm not normally a big grenade user, especially since I have the sniper rifle. I'm trying to stay out of the way. That better be enough. Fuck! I made a boo-boo. Let's check the map like it was telling me to do. Okay, that's my destination. I was gonna be like, that's not where I am. Oh, that's that's where we are, right there. Okay, I see. Well, I may have a chance during all of this other traveling, because I'm gonna be going to that place last. I'm gonna check around all the rest of this shit. Hopefully I'll find some more Omni Gel, and, the gel and then I can come back and and take care of that. Whoa. I will look into it for you. <laughs> In the meantime, do not do anything rash. <laughs> I don't know why, I just, I love the way that these guys are, I guess, the an attribute for their race or species is that they talk very monotone. I don't know why, but that just cracks me up. Also, I guess this goes to what I was talking about or if I make it its own separate video about how the Omni tool works and can repair salvaged equipment and stuff. So if I were to have to fight some of these guys and they dropped equipment, that explains why I would be able to wear the same type of things that these guys are because the Omni tool fixes it, which is just, it's, it's really cool. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. <laughs> God damn it, I fucking love that. Oh. <laughs> you seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? I don't think you know what this alarm is. is. All going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. 
Consort? Well, that means hooker. Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the consort. I'm interested in meeting this consort. I cannot consort. speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Well, that's a shame. Should I say I understand, or should... No, I want to meet this consort. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Well, my interest in finding a consort may have rendered me unable to help this fine whatever the hell they are. Pleased reading. Human, it is always good to see your kind. Well, thanks. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Oh, I don't want to pick on the way they speak. That's just mean. I love it. Ambassador, what do you do sure. Here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. <laughs> this human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Well, I do appreciate that, Kaylin. I don't know if Mr. or Ma'am, whatever. Um, but chastising rebuke. Oh, that's so great. I love this. This is amazing. Tell me more about your species. Yes, please. I want to hear. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. It sure is agreeable. I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm going to find out more because this is just fucking phenomenal to me. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. Yes! The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Oh, that's great! Does that mean that there's a lot more of them? Oh, that's fantastic! Also, all the relays were also built by the Protheans? Interesting. It seems like everything that has to do with space travel has its roots in the Protheans. That's pretty cool. Although, we apparently found Prothean technology on Mars, so we did get off of our planet, just not very far beyond that without the help of the Protheans. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly... We Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. That doesn't surprise me very much. Fuck it, I'm curious, I want to know. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Finally, uh. we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to uh -huh. other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Fuck you, Almost I do! Response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. Yeah, fuck you, Din. I guess that's it for... Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Oh, Enjoy I can't even... time on the Citadel. I will try, especially if I find that consort. Oh, I can try to talk to Din. EarthClan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your Ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least <laughs> I love introduce it. yourself. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. 
Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Yeah, not talk to me, or not refer to me as Earth Clan, you fucking douche. Yeah, why so cranky? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. Because we beat the Turians, probably. Chastising rebuke, I think. Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Bolas territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. So is he, are they essentially worried that they're not the favorites anymore or something? I don't know. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Why do they Your share an embassy? Is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. <laughs> I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Not as much as you. Fuck you. Goodbye, Ambassador. <laughs> yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Look at this one. Ah! Okay. This is great. I was under the impression because I tried to stay. Wait, which way am I going now? The I try to stay as far away from spoilers as I can when I'm playing games. Oh, I can't go that way. Isn't that the way I wanted to go? No. Wow. Okay. Um. So I knew almost nothing about Mass Effect. In fact, I initially thought that it was a first-person shooter, and not a third-person when it came to the action scenes. But I also thought that all of the aliens were humanoid so that's a pretty nice surprise to see that it's not the case it's another one! Oh, i can't talk to any of these guys i wonder how they sound that'd be great to find out Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. delighted welcome oh that's it okay delighted farewell oh i enjoy that so damn much commander shepherd I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? No. I came on my own. I need information. I do. You humans I are do. always so curious. Always That's sticking right. your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? No. Uh, never mind. Forget I asked. <laughs> Was there something you needed, Commander? Yeah, sure. Attitude towards humans. I get the feeling humans. you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. Huh. Well, he's forthcoming. I don't know if I want to say we're not favorites, because I think that the Turians are the favorites. And I don't want to get into a shouting match with hostilities being raised. So I'm going to... I'll be going now. I'm just going to say goodbye for now. And maybe I'll come back. Maybe I need to find out more information. Oh, oh, I can try this one. Don't fail. Please don't fail. Uh, maybe I can come back for more information after I go and talk to whoever it was I'm supposed to talk to. I forget. There we go. Got it. Okay. Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic? You have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eda cluster. Guessing that's an actual cluster probably named after Stephen Hawking. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. So, the Geth are not the only biotics out there. And I don't know if the location means that it is, um, that it has anything to do with him, because I don't think the Tarians are biotic. 
or is that may be talking about like that entire thing was sent out including the warning and it's something that we need to watch out for and that's what he got like saying hey 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 watch out for this this place seems strange There's a little more humans around. i don't know i want more of the i forget what they're called already but they were cool as hell don't believe the rumors the consort would never reveal her secrets of course she wouldn't she'd be talked at the nearest airlock if she did uh, i suppose so so where Besides is this? Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. <laughs> is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Huh? <laughs> I bet you did too. Shut up, Fredericks. What do you want? Oh, Commander. That's right. Is you... there something I could do for you? You Relax, watch man. yourself. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never <laughs> did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Wow. Does that mean I'm not going to be able to talk to her? There seems to be a lot going on about this consort. At first it was just curiosity, like, what would a space hooker look like? But there seems to be a lot more actually going on, so now... Is it going to cost me, or will I be able to pull rank? I don't know. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. <laughs> I will. Have fun, that is. Oh, uh -huh. I don't even know what the Asari are, actually. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. My apologies, Blue Lady. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Uh, no, thanks. Goodbye. So okay. long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Well, I didn't really mean to be quite that rude, but whatever. I just didn't think that having a drink, because I don't know how much what I do can affect me in this game. I didn't want to have a drink and then go and meet with all those people because that would probably be bad wow look at all that holy crap oh oh consort chambers should i go where i'm supposed to or should i check out the consort chambers first oh, i don't want to be thrust into the next part of the game and no this place seems huge i'm pretty sure i'll be able to come back here right let's go ahead and head where we're supposed to uh yeah Citadel Tower. Let's get this plot moving. Saren's hiding oh. something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. He knows. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. I'm not going to be rude and say you blew it. What did you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. But I wanted... You don't want to keep the council waiting. Damn it! Alright, fine. I wanted to find out if he knew anything else that I could use. Or just know. We have a witness! God damn it! We have a fucking witness back on Eden Prime. I know we needed to hurry up, but why has nobody talked about this goddamn witness? The hearing's already oh. started. Come on. The music is really good in this. I'm really liking it. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation we have... by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. We have a witness! The witness saw him kill Nihilus Thank you! Blood. Thank you, thank We've you, thank you! the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. Fuck you, Saren. That you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. Also, this isn't the first time. Your protege, Commander Shepard, the one who let the beacon get destroyed. I actually don't know if it was me that caused it to break. 
I don't know how this is going to play out. It may go the same way no matter what, where the council is going to think that Saren had fuck all to do with this. So, I'm trying to think, should I be working on the angle of trying to get him to slip up in conversation, or... I don't think that shouting and saying, that was you, not me, is going to do any good. I don't think it is. I, I don't think that that's going to do any good, so I'm going to go with, how did you get involved? The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. Yes. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. God damn it. But what can you expect from a human? Yeah, I'm not going to play into his game. He's trying to piss me off. He's trying to play to my emotions, and they won't work. I hope. Unless this response is also going to be emotionally charged. I hope not. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. I don't want to say quit protecting him because they could be right to think that he's not a traitor. He could have done all these things that makes it seem impossible that he would do this. So I can't just say quit protecting him. I'm not going to go straight to fucking name calling. At least not in game. I myself will call him a douchey prick because that's what he is. He is also an arrogant bastard, but that's not what I'm going to choose. I'm going to, because I would, this is probably what I would do. If I was up against something like this, I would find a way to say, look, I don't care how much you like this guy or even dislike it. Here is something that you can't deny. So I'm going to find proof. You can't hide behind the council forever. Not what There's I meant to say. one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. Oh. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are We're talking we about that? dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I, I hate to say it, but he does have a Our point. Judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? I almost want to go with what's the point. What good is saying you won't see the truth going to do? That's... Oh, no. And I'm certainly not going to give up. So I'm just going to say, what's the point? And I hope this goes to something like you've already made your minds up and blah, 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 yada, yada. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. Thank you. The council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. It's not really justice. This meeting is adjourned. Yeah, I don't think that that really could have gone any other way. I hope. Because I'd be kind of pissed if I just fucked myself over right there. But that's... I didn't see that there was any point was in continuing. Bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Yeah, I don't think the Council's gonna help. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. Yeah. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. Yes, proof, as I was what saying. Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Well, he's not just a tool. I want to actually have him on my side. That would be great. So I don't want to just say he could be useful. And I certainly don't distrust him just because he's a Turian. So I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. The Captain might deserve better, but I do see that point. You don't want to have anything that looks like it could be a conflict of interest. 
I'll I'm take on care it. Of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. And it feels I feel kind of bad I for getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. I wonder if the consort will become useful in this. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. I'm not gonna say so would I. Uh, <laughs> but didn't my character kind of... Not the same thing. As I understand it, uh, the ruthless backstory said that a lot of my team, you know, so it wasn't innocent civilians, but I still did probably cause a lot of death. So I'm just going to investigate. Wow, lots of shit. Okay. Barlavon. Tell me about Barlavon. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. So he does all sorts of illegal things, just... Legally. Harkin. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. If Fair enough. If he wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. c -Sec is better off without him. Guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human c -Sec officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes. Sometimes? But it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Okay. Uh... Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Why do we bother? We're too independent. Hmm. No, I don't really want to go down either of I those. Go. So, Good goodbye. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. All right, so... Lots of shit in the codex, probably. Oh, and the journal. Oh, so I have multiple missions now. Wait, does the story branch off and I can tackle it any way I want? Oh, okay, so... That transmission that I hacked actually brought me to a side quest. I just can't do anything about it yet. I guess later on I'm going to be able to fly all around the galaxy. That's amazing. All right, well, I think that's going to just about do it for now. This is pretty long, but I'm going to be cutting the Codex stuff either completely or into something different. I still haven't quite decided yet, but I still imagine that this is probably a good time to call it, and if not, then I'll know for future episodes. It's kind of hard when you're starting out to get an idea of how long something is going to be but this feels like a good place to stop, so we're going to call it here. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!
escape I need a way to get away From this fuck of reality I need a place to hide So I can finally find A different state of mind